right, we're getting ready to uh, put the thatch on the tiki hut now. And we pre-nailed uh, all the palm leaves. So when we get up there, we can just hammer them in place. But you could also put these on with a staple gun or put the leaves in, in several different sizes. Uh, we call these number threes. That's what we start with on the bottom row sides. But the nails are just put right, right in the heart. You see the nail? The rounded side of the palm stem goes down. So the rounded side of the palm stem goes down. This is the top of the leaf. And your nail just goes right in, you know, right where the, it gets fatter. Not on this heart part, but where it gets just a little bit fatter. And that's how we get the, the lengths all the same. We measure from this nail to the bottom of the leaf and we get all the leaves the same. And that way uh, the bottom row all stays the same and it looks layered, you know, nice. But uh, we're getting ready to put them on right now. I just wanted to show you the, the way the nails are put into the palm leaves. Just one nail for each palm leaf. And uh, what we're gonna do there is basically just fold the leaf in half. For the bottom row, you just take it right here as the half mark. You just hold it in half. It doesn't have to be perfect and you're gonna nail it on there. You nail it on there and then you take the next leaf and the guy will fold it in half. He'll hand it up to you and it's gonna just go right next to it about three inches away. Uh, so then it just keeps going like that. And we're gonna show you on top of the hut here in just one second. All right, we're uh, starting to put the thatch on the leaf. What uh, Felipe's doing there, he's putting one leaf right in the middle. He already folded it in half. Now he's gonna fold another leaf in half, put it right on top of that. And about every three inches or two and a half, three inches, you're gonna nail it. So now, and they just repeat this all the way for the whole bottom row. Uh, and uh, then he'll just, he's chopping the stems at the top, um, you know, even with the middle of the next one up. So he's folding it, just fold it in half. It doesn't have to be perfect or anything, and then you just nail it, chop the stem. Or you can chop the stems all when you're done, uh, you know, you just, so they're not in your way, but it's as simple as that. You're just folding a leaf in half and just keep putting them on top of each other. There's about a two and a half, two to two and a half inches between each stem. Um, and uh, let's see. I'll show you from underneath what it looks like here. See, it keeps what the fold in that bottom row does is it <clears throat> keeps the all that fringe from hanging through on that first one. Your second and your third row here, you won't be folding it at all. So, <clears throat> you can see about how far apart the uh, spacing is on that. Each leaf's going to overhang the other leaf. Um, quite a bit and then your next roll will be overhanging that so these things don't leak a drop uh, when we get done with them you can see here how even the bottom row is because all these leaves are measured to be pretty much you know within an inch or so of each other in length that way you get a nice you know even square bottom row now, Felipe is getting close to the corner right now, so what he's going to do is he's going to start putting them closer together because uh, your corners are your vulnerable spots. You know, they just got to be packed on pretty thick, your corners do. So he's uh, working his way to the corner right now, and sometimes you just got to chop them stems to get them out of the way, but don't chop the stems too small or they'll split on you. You want to leave a little bit of stem when you chop them. There's sites here that, uh, those are the, the you know, this is a concession stand here. The, uh, the roof right here is the same size as that other roof over there. You can see how the leaves turned all golden, a golden color, and they're all laid down nice and smooth. And I'll show you right now, the other tiki hut we're doing right now, how it kind of looks like a bad hair day at first. 
uh, but it'll all lay down just like this here. We'll go back over here and you can see the leaves. They don't, they're not laying down yet. It'll take like three or four days and they'll all be laid down. They'll change colors. Um, it'll look just like that other tiki hut you, right over here. Uh, see the leaves there when you first put them on and then look at this one. This has been on for a few months and but it only takes a few days with the sun. It'll bleach them right out, that color right there, and they'll all lay down nice and smooth. Now Felipe's working on that other corner right there. He's getting ready. We just used twos on this end right here. He'll, he'll put them leaves on the corner and get it nice and thick. Then he'll be back on that straightaway where we're gonna use the number threes, which is the same as on the other side. Your ends will be number twos, your sides will be number threes, and then like I said, ones up to the top there. Right now uh, we've finished the bottom row on here and he's starting to do the corner, do the corners before you, you know, you go higher up. So he's chopping the stems off and starting down low right there and then working his way up uh, to fill that in. Now he's back on the straightaway right there. That's only an 18 inch row there so we use number ones, the smaller leaves and still two inches between stems, two and a half inches between stems. And right here is where we finish the bottom row. What you do is you just get underneath there and you reach up in there and and uh, fold it back in there nice and neat. I'll show you how to do that right now. I'll grab a ladder. All right, he's going to fix that bottom row right there. That's where you started and you finished on the bottom row. So basically you just got to fold it back in there and tuck it in there and pull the other one down. See how he's tucking it in there. It's just where the where you started and where you finished. You just lift it back up in there and tuck it in there so it looks neat. There you go. Nice and neat. If there's any little strings hanging down, you can pull them down later just to tighten it up in there. But you see, we started out with uh, discolored leaves. These are just leaves that have been. Uh, sitting around it's summertime right now. It's hot so they change colors pretty quick, but you can see the discolored leaves We got around here. You can see they're greener But it doesn't matter what what color the leaves are it just matters if they're good quality leaves, you know nice long ones uh, flat and You know pretty good size to them Anyway uh, He's working on that second row right now with the number ones. And you don't fold these leaves, you just lay them on there flat. So you can see there's no fold in that row where there's a fold in these other row in the bottom row. See that little piece hanging right there? Just to neaten it up, you can either just pull that off or tuck it back in. I'm just gonna tuck it back behind there and pull it down. This makes it look neater whenever you see something like that hanging there. But you can see there's not much at all hanging. He's doing that other corner over there. See, before you get that straight away, you got to do that corner first. And then he'll finish that second row. So you got that corner there uh, filled up now, so he's working on this other corner. That's the, the third corner. But like again, just singles on, start lower down and work your way up that corner. And then you'll be ready to finish that second row there. He's still doing that second row right there. You can see the the stems will be chopped right at that ridge. And then when we put the last row of leaves, we chop the stems on the ground about two, two and a half inches from the nail. If you go too close to the nail, it'll split. You can always put a second nail in there if it splits, it's no big deal. But uh, 
the top ones, that whole ridge there, the stems will be cut at about two to two and a half inches from the nail. And then we just nail them up there on top to finish that off. See, there's no folding on any row except for the bottom row. All right, you can see here we finished the second row and now he's filling in the, the ends, both little ends right there, those little triangles at the top. <clears throat> Same way as your corners are basically a corner anyway, but you just start at the bottom there and, and make sure that, uh, you know, the lower leaf is, the higher leaf is on top of the lower leaf, just like uh, shingles. But, uh, chopping the stems and he's filling them corners in once he gets those corners see this one here is still open this corner here he'll fill that corner in and then he'll do the whole top there with cut off stems but you could nice and neat looking it's just that top piece now the third row See the corners filled in there and now, now he's putting the, a few more on the corner there and then he'll go all the way down the ridge, cut off stems. You can uh, chop the stems up on the top uh, when, right as you're going along like Felipe's doing there or it's really easier if you just clip them off or chop them off on the ground about for this hut here about you know 40 of them or 50 of them uh, leaves and then if you chop them on the ground it's just a lot easier just hand them up and nail them hand them up and nail them but you can do it either way uh, Felipe's just chopping them at the top as he's handing them up He's doing both sides as he works his way down there. He's sitting up on top, so he just does both sides as he keeps moving down. You can see here he's doing the corners on the far end now. Uh, you always want to do your corners first, or at least before you get to them with the straightaway. But uh, he's filling in that end right now. One and all that old roofing is, nail, you use about a three inch nail just because it's kind of thick up there and uh, the regular nail won't reach. All right, now we're getting ready to put the tar paper on and then the weights and it's completed. You can see, like I said earlier, it looks a little bit like a bad hair day, but the gravity will take it all down, make it nice and flat like that one right over there. All right, see, this is the, the ridge cap that'll come with the Tiki Hut also. It's just a 90 pound paper, the thick mineral paper, like they'd use for roofing. 
and we cut it in half so it's 18 inches wide you barely even notice it's up there but what holds this down are weights he's going to hand up the three weights if it was a longer ridge you'd use four weights or a longer one you'd use five weights but this one right here three weights and they're just big X's of uh, logs that sit on top of here. Uh, there's no water that'll come through this at all, not a drop. And uh, you can put ceiling fans under there, TVs, your electrical. Uh, this is a real tiki hut. This isn't, you know, all the other thatches that are available on the market, we sell them too, but they're only good for like maybe indoors because uh, they all leak except for this one. And uh, this is actually less money than the other thatches and it won't leak a drop of water. These are the weights that are going up right now. You just pull them out so they all go the same way. If you pull one, you know, so they all look the same. Because if you pull one one way and pull one the other way, it just doesn't look as good. So here's the three weights. and. Maybe move it in just a little bit, Felipe. This one. Yeah, pick. You know, you just want them straight so they look good. They're going to basically stay right where you put them. Um, you want to make sure that tar paper is being held on on both ends, and then just put your last one in the middle. Just got to turn it the right way there. He's trying to, it's tight. If you do it that way, it's wrong. So there, you just flipped it over. Now you just get them both all equal in the middle. Looks good. All right, that's the completed tiki hut right there. And uh, I'll give a, I'll take another picture here in a couple days. And you'll see that they all lay down and change colors. And uh, 